It's been nearly three weeks since the Supreme Court decided President Biden does not have the authority to cancel student loan debt. Yeah, the plan would have canceled $400 billion in debt for tens of millions of borrowers. But now payments are scheduled to begin in October with no money forgiven at all. News 6's Brian Didlake looks at what you need to know about paying that debt back. There are going to be all kinds of economic consequences, and we're already starting to see it. F. King Alexander, an educational leadership professor at Florida Gulf Coast University, calling for student borrowers to pay attention. No justice! No peace! This comes after students protested the Supreme Court's decision earlier this month to strike down President Biden's loan forgiveness plan. It's the housing market. It's the automobile market. They're not buying new cars. It's the consumer spending market, which impacts just about everywhere. And these are all just consequences that are just going to continue. This past Tuesday, the Department of Education released data saying more than 56,000 borrowers loans in Florida were forgiven under the Biden administration's $36 billion discharge approval for more than 800,000 people. Those eligible had been paying for 20 or 25 years with more than 240 payments. The critics of this plan, number one, have said that, oh, it might lead to more inflation. Well, they said the same thing about the GI Bill and Social Security. Alexander says people need to make sure their information is up to date with the Department of Education. Check to see if their lender has changed and make a plan after payments are set to resume in a little more than 70 days in October. Pay something monthly so you, you, you develop a record because it could be in a year from now that this issue could come back up. Now, Alexander was referring to the Biden administration's Plan B, the Higher Education Act, first passed in 1965. That plan, however, may take some time. The Biden administration also says that if a borrower can't make a payment starting this fall, that they won't face default or be reported to a credit bureau or a debt collection agency for at least a year. We're in the newsroom. Brian Ditlake getting results. News 6.